Hi, welcome back, guys. Um, L4 Mathematics, TVET College exam preparations. So we're going to do number number one, this one. Okay, we're going to do this one. Uh, it says um, simplify, right? So before we simplify this, uh, I want us to show us, I want to show you guys the, uh, just to remind you, of course, about the, the reduction formula. So this is um, this is um, reduction formula. So this what is going to help us to answer this question? Okay. So here you've got your origin. So here you've got zero. You've got zero degree plus ninety. So it will give you ninety degree here, and then plus ninety, you get um, one eighty plus ninety, you get two seventy degrees. Okay, so, and then 270, and then here is um, 360 degrees. So we know that um, this, this, this is what we call um, reduction, reduction from lie. I'll just write RF, reduction from lie. Okay, so we know that uh, some of the call it, um, they call it uh, cast, C-A-S-T cast diagram, or even though some students will say all students take chocolate and whatever. So now here it will mean that all positive, all trig ratios here, you know, it means that sign is positive, cos is positive and tan is positive, right? And, but here sign is positive, tan here is positive and cos here is positive. Okay, so, but that was the, the, the 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 angles when I'm going um, anti-clockwise, but when I go clockwise, but when I go clockwise, I've got what we call negative angles. Let me put it down here. I've got what I call negative negative angles, right? So under negative angles. This is just to say that if you've got your sine theta, which is, okay, let me say, if you've got um, negative sine theta, here there's negative. Okay, if you've got your negative sine theta, it will mean that you'll have negative sine theta. Okay, but when you've got uh, a turn off negative theta again, it will mean that you'll have got negative tan theta. And then, but here, when you've got negative cos of theta, it will be cos theta, right? Because cos is positive here. When you are here, cos is positive here. The first quadrant that you, you approach is this one, where cos is negative, and then others, they are, they are negative. That's why sine is negative and tan is, is negative. Okay, so we've got, we talked about negative angles. So let's talk about what are what we call a core functions. Uh, core functions. I'm just giving you this summary. So we've got what we call a core functions. So under core functions, you have got uh, under core functions here. Yeah, these are the you find them on the y on the y line. Let me say you find this on the y line. So this line here, 90 y exists. Um, that's where you get your our core functions. To say that um, if you have got um, Sign of, let me write it here, sign of 90 minus theta. This should, because there is a cofunction function 90 here, it should change to cos theta, right? Similarly, when you've got, um, when you've got your cos of 90 minus theta, you should get sin theta, right? Just to say that um, sine will change to cos and cos will change to sine, basically. Right, and then also similarly with 270 minus theta, it means that because you have got 270, um, sine will change to cos, and then cos will change to sine, right? Okay, another thing that I want to also to remind you guys, um, let's talk about, um, there is what we call um, reciprocal identities, okay? Reciprocal identities. Um, let me write it here. Reciprocal, um, reciprocal, 
reciprocal identity. So under reciprocal identity, I've got a circle here. So this circle will change to circle change to one over sec. That's how I used to claim it because it's sec. The last letter is C. It will, it will change to cos, right? And then I go to cot, and then for cot. So the cot here, the last letter of T is T. So it will mean it will because it's a reciprocal. It will be one over tan. Are we together? And then, but for 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 cosec, um, to say for cosec, for cosec it will change to sine, right? It will be one over sine. It will be one over sine. Yes, that's what I wanted to, to remind you guys. Okay, so now let's answer this, um, this first question. Let's answer the first question. Um, we can, I, can, I can change the pen and write it on the other side, okay? Yes, simplify. So here it says uh, sine of 90 minus x multiplied by sec of 360 minus x all over by cot of 90 minus x multiplied by sine of 180 minus x multiplied by cosec of 180 plus x. So you, 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 you start here. You will start here. So here you are given a co-function, 90, we've got 90 there. So it means that the sign will be cos, right? In other words, you come and say, we have got um, your cos of, cos of x, right? From 90 minus x, right? And then map by, this is here, sec of 360 minus x. So sec, this is a reciprocal identity, right? Which is equivalent to one over cos. So you're going to say map by, one over one over by cos of the very same angle cos of 360 minus minus x right i hope we're still together all divided by so here you've got code this is still our reciprocal like identity like what i've, I've said so and then I said this cot is equals to one over tan of, right? One over tan of um, one over tan of um, still fine ninety minus x, right? Let me put it that way. Apply by. So here you've got sine of 180 minus x, which quadrant is 180 minus x? The quadrant, the second quadrant, and then sine is, is, uh, is positive there. So you will have mapla by sine x here, mapla by. So the cosec is also a reciprocal. So you, you know that you're going to have one all over by, by sine, right? So it will be one over, Sin of 180 plus x, right? Okay, so now there is something here. Um, okay, I can just come and write the cos here. Cos of x, map by. So what is cos of 360 minus x? Cos of 360 minus x, it will be one over cos x, right? Which quadrant is 360 minus x? The first quadrant is cos there, positive or negative, it's positive. So is this a cofunction? No, it's not a cofunction. So it will remain the same, cos of x, right? All over by. So here you've got one over tan, right? So we know the identity, which says, um, which says, um, you know, tan is what's what? We know that tan is what's the sign over, over cos. So what will be one over tan? So one over tan will be equal to one over sine over 
course. So mind you, because this is a big division, so everything will be one multiplied by, I said division, it will change to multiplication, and then the denominator will become the numerator, and the numerator will become the denominator. So it will be one over cos of cos over sine, which gives us cos over sine, right? So wherever we see one over tan, we can replace it by cos of cos over sine. Okay, this, this is what I'm explaining here. So I'm going to have I'm going to have here cos of cos of 90 minus x all over by sine of 90 minus x. Right? Okay, multiply by sine x multiply by um one over so what is 180 plus x is in the third quadrant sign is negative there so i will also write negative here right negative sign x i would still together okay so from here i can come and say i can come and say this cos and cos can marry each other this uh, this cos and cos will, will cancel out right they'll become one and then so it would mean that at the numerator, everything here will give me one over one, which is one. I'll, I'll write one here, right? So it will be one over. So now um, this cos, this is a co function here. So it means the cos will become sine x, right? Here it will be sine x over sine 90 minus x, this is a co-function in the first quadrant, it will be cos of x, right? Mapla by sine x, mapla by one over, don't forget the negative here, one over sine x, right? So this sine and this sine can marry each other, right? Which is close to one, one item. Okay, so now you are left, you are left to mean that you'll be left with, I can take the negative out, to mean that you'll be left with negative here. So it will be negative one all over by sine over, sine over, sine x over cos of x, right? And then this, um, let me, allow me to write this, um, let me find a space somewhere here to finish this off. Okay, so that this one will equal to, to say from here, it will be, it will be negative one. Okay, it will be negative one. I said this is a long division. So if this is a long division, it will change to multiplication. So when it changes, you write one blah, blah, blah. So I said, the numerator will become the denominator, right? So the up and down. So it will be cos, cos of what? Cos of x, right? All over by sine of x, right? So this will be negative cos of x all over by sine x, right? So what is this? What is cos over what is cos over sine? I said cos over sine is equals to negative. This, everything here will be equal to negative cot x, right? Negative cot x. Are we together? Right, because this will be equal to one over tan. And then one over tan, to say that this will be equal to one over one over tan x, right, which is equivalent to cot x. Okay, let's do the second one. Okay, number 1.2, it says um, this one. Right, this one we're done. So it says two cos squared two b plus cos two b minus one. So you'll note that this equation, 
let's explain it in terms of a quadratic, right? Um, in terms of AX squared plus BX plus C, right? Your C here is, um, is negative one. Okay, so now here, we're going to use the K, K rule. We're going to use the K rule. K rule. Okay, so now let's start by, we let, let K is equal to, because cos and cos is appearing, cos 2B is uh, appearing twice there. So we can say let K is equal to, cos to beta, right? And then now it will mean that if K is cos, so we're going to replace there. So we're going to have um, 2K, 2K squared plus, plus K, right? Minus, minus one is equals to zero, just to, just to simplify our lives, right? So now to factorize this, you know, you're going to have bracket and bracket, which is equals to zero. So here you'll get factors of 2K squared, which are 2K and, and K, right? Factors of one is one and one, okay, right? Normally here, because there's 2K, I, I, I normally, I put negative here on the, on the first and then, I put the plus on the other side, right? Because this bracket is higher than the this one. So this one should decrease, but you know, you should be careful of your signs here. Okay, so from here, um, I'm going to have, to simplify, I'm going to have 2K minus one is equals to zero, or, or K plus one is equals to zero. So 2K is equals to one, and then we divide both sides by divide both sides by two. Then my k will be equal to half, isn't it? And then also on the other side here, my k will be equal to negative one, right? So what is k? What is k? So we said k is two cos of two b. So therefore, cos of cos of um, Cos of 2b is equals to 1 over 2, right? Or cos of 2b is equals to negative 1, right? So another way of doing this um, is to is to simply um, you know just draw a Cartesian plane here, right? So we know that um, here all trig ratios are positive. Okay, we can do like this, right? So on the first one here, when we start um, with the first one here, cos of 2b is equal to a positive number. So you ask yourself, where is, which quadrant where by cos or quadrants where by cos are positive? So this is the quadrant number, the fourth quadrant, this one, is positive and also here on the first quadrant is, is positive, right? So when you know that, and then you know the, 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 the domains there, the domains zero and three sixth, right? And then here is 90, here is 180, and then here is 270, right? So now you know that it's the first quadrant and the fourth quadrant. So you come here, on the, if we're using, if you're using the fourth quadrant, you come and see on the fourth quadrant, okay, you can just say fourth quadrant. What do we get? We get, so here you do the shift cos of, the, we call it arc cos, arc cos, right? To say that um, if you are given cos of 2b is equals to, half, you should say 2b is equals to cos of negative, sort of inverse, but it's not an inverse, it's an arc of one over two, right? So here on the fourth quadrant, um, I've got 
360. So I have to go back. I have to push this side. So it will be it will be two B. Let me write it here. It will be two B is equals to cos of arc. Okay, let's start. Let let's start by saying because it says 360 there, so it will be 360. It will be 360 because of we are trying to find the general solutions. So it will be 360 minus the angle, which is arc, arc of one over two, right? Plus plus k multiplied by 360, where k is an element of where k is an element of an integer, right? Okay, so now my 2b, 2b is equal to 360 minus, so a cos of, um, a cos of half, it will give you 60, right? So you'll have 60 here, plus, plus k into 360. So here, because you have got um, 2b, which is equals to 360 minus 60 is 300, right? So you left 300 plus k multiplied by 360. Then you divide both sides by, by two, right? These two, then you will you will be left with b is equals to 300 divided by two is 150 degrees plus k multiplied by 180 degrees, right? Can you follow? So now this was, the fourth quadrant. We have to do the same now for the first for the first quadrant, right? Let me put it this side. And then for the for the first quadrant, so we, we, we did this one here. So we want to do this one. Right? So here is zero. So it will be zero plus. And then normally we don't write zero. So I will have my two B. Let me say this is first, this is first quad, right? First quadrant, two B is supposed to, I will have my cos of, a cos of half, right? Plus K into 360, right? Where K is an element of an integer. Okay, so now when we are here, you 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 left two b into sixty plus k into three sixty. So your b will be equal to thirty plus k into one eighty degrees, right? So we have got this and this, right? So now you can come here and do for me for, for this one, where, by, where cos is negative. So we did this. So your homework will be to do this. I'll just show you where, 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 where you can find it. It's cos of 2b, where cos is negative. So cos is negative in the second quadrant. So cos is negative here and here. So here it will be for the for the second quadrant, it will be 180 minus. Here it will be 180 minus, right? And then for 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 this one, for the third quadrant, you'll do the same. Just write for the for the for the second quadrant, it will be 180 minus. And then for for the third quadrant, this is your homework. You will do it because to be um it will be 180 plus, right? It will be here and there, right? Okay, so when you are we're done with that, you still have need, you still need to go back and, 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 and say, that was the homework. You still need to go back, you know, to, to test your answers, to say when K is equals to zero, let's start here. If my K is equal to zero, my answer will be, my answer will be 30 degrees here. Right, and then you prove, and then 30 degrees is still within the domain. 
Can we see that here? It's still within the domain. So you'll do that when k is equal to um, when k is equal to one, it will be one eighty plus thirty, which is out of the range. So this will not do, and then this will never work. And then, which means similarly for the negative one, it will be three sixty minus um, three sixty minus um, one eighty. It will be 30 minus 180, which is in the range, right? So you also have to do the same for, for this one here. You have to do the same. You have to do that, that your, will be your homework. You have to say K0, 1, and 2, just to check. If, it's, if it's, it falls within the range, the domain here, you write it. Okay. So now let's go to the last question. Let me erase here. Yes, it's a proof that sign X plus sine two X over one plus cos X plus cos two X is equal to 10 X. So here you will choose the less complicated side, right? So the side that you're comfortable, you know, obvious it's possible to reduce this to that, you know. So we'll start, we choose left-hand side. Okay, we choose left-hand side. So here we are going to have say sine X, Plus, so this is a double angle identity, which you know, which is equal to two sine x cos of x all over by one plus cos of x, right? Plus, also here, this is a double identity. This is a double identity. So and then you have to know which one we are choosing. So we're going to choose the one which has got cos because so that this cos and this cos will simplify out. I'm saying that we're going to choose this one, two cos of two X minus one, because here already we've got cos. This was just a hint. So we have to choose the one which is, has got cos cos. Okay, so now, we, 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 we're here, here we can see that we've got some sort of a common factor in the numerator, we've got sine and sine. So we can take out the common factor of, of sine to say we've got sine into what? Sine will go one there plus, and then here you'll be left with two cos, two cos x, right? All over by? And then here, you 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 will agree with me that you are going to have one minus one, which is um, which is um, cos. You're going to have cos be left with cos of x plus two cos squared of x, right? So similarly. We can come and say here I've got my sign into one plus two cos of x all over by. So we can come and take the common factor of cos here. So you've got uh, your cos there. So you'll be left with one plus this two here, cos x, right? And then you see if you can simplify because we're trying to prove, right? So this and this is the, they're the same, they can mirror each other. So they will cancel out. And then you'll be left with um, sine. I forgot X somewhere here. Yeah, but you can see, it'll be sine X over cos of, cos of X, right? So here I've got my X. Okay, don't make this mistake. Here I've got also my X and also here I've got my X. Okay, so this sine x over cos x, I said is equals to quotient identity of tan x, and then which is equals to right hand side. Therefore, proved, right? See you in the next video. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and share.